The Kanitsa illusion is incredibly beautiful. It's very, very simple. And you simply see something that is not there. You see a ghost. And every time you look at this figure, you see a ghost which isn't there. It's completely repeatable. That's what's so lovely about it. And it's simply the drawing of three cakes, if you like, with slices cut out of them, and the slices aimed at each other. But lo and behold, you see something else which is not really there. You see a white triangle joining up the slices. That is a ghost. It's purely illusory. And the edges that you see are not there. There are no physical edge whatsoever. What I think is happening is that the brain is creating a white triangle to explain, if you like, the missing bits of cake, the slices, because they're exactly lined up. It's very unlikely that you've got three cakes with all the slices exactly lining up, much more likely that there's something in front hiding the cakes so that the slices are not really slices, they're hidden by the nearer object, and that's what you see. So you produce a ghost. If you put the illusory edge off the receptive field of V1, uh, with a cat, let's say, it does not activate V1. The illusory contour doesn't stimulate V1. It's only further up. It's a postulate beyond V1, higher up than V1. But you've also got to be careful about this because you get fibres in the brain going down back into V1. So even if you've got an effect in V1, it might not originate in V1. But in fact, the evidence is that it's higher up in the brain that these contours are produced. This is um, a lovely example of probabilities driving, creating perceptions. And we now think of this in terms of what we call Bayesian theory from an 18th century cleric called Thomas Bayes. Uh, and there's a whole mathematics of this. And the overriding probability here is of a nearer surface or object hiding parts of the cakes. This is so likely that the brain projects it and, in, in, and invents it, and you, you see it, although it's not there, because it ought to be there on a probability basis. It's a wonderful illusion. Mm -hmm.